so as you guys can see so on the left hand side you've got the 458 which is the predecessor to this one so this one's more modern it's got the 3.9 liter v8 engine which has got the turbo this was the second car that ferrari put a turbo in the first one being i believe it was the um the california t so this makes about 688 horsepower give or take and it's um it's more of a GT slash supercar. It's not just a full-on swung supercar. It does offer that luxury, but at the same time, it offers that supercar capability. So one thing I do love about Ferrari, as if by coincidence, you've got the Ferrari F1 team there. So you can tell with every Ferrari, which came after this era, they've got the Formula One nose. Then with this one as well, it's got a lot. Of, it's got a lot of aero. So on either side, you've got the inlets on the lower part, and you've also got these different parts here, which also help channel air. So you also got air coming in here, and it comes out this way as well. And even the bonnet as well is shaped to get rid of all of the head, all of the hot air. So the curvatures here, I believe, direct all the heat to the side. Very beautiful. I'll show you a little side profile. Now I do like this, this trucker lorry, which is on there, which is not on there. So when it comes to options, you can spend a lot of money. As you guys can see, that is carbon fiber, whereas that's just normal. So you can spec it as, as much as you want. I do love these glossy wheels. It's always a, you know, a gift to have another 488, 488 to compare this back to. So with this one, it's got the the carbon center caps then you've got the black brambo ferrari calipers with the carbon ceramics it's got michelin i think uh what are they i think they're the pilot spots so with this one it's got the matte black i prefer the matte black there's something about it it's just more it's just more i think just suitable for this car this is also on p zeros which are not as good as the michelins i've got to say and while we're on spec as well, if you look at this side piece there, that's made of carbon fiber, that's just normal. So you can spec these cars. And even on the inside of this car as well, it's got the trigger lorry in the middle. That's a nice little touch. That's an expensive option. They've just done full carbon fiber on the interior. Even the seats in the back as well are carbon fiber. Yep, carbon fiber. With these over here uh, the carbon fiber as well fantastic so what we we'll do is we'll look at the car from the outside then we'll go in it's a short video nothing too too long so you've got the inlets here with channel air to the wheels as well as to the engine bay the engine bay has been covered up i do miss the four no no yeah the 430 they used to have the cluster so you can see the engine this is a convertible obviously so you can see the interior Interior is lovely, it comes in that black leather with the white stitching, which is nice, a bit plain. Then you've got all these, which let out all the hot air from the engine. As I step back, you guys can see, this car sits very low. Now, one thing I do love is you can inspect this in carbon fiber, which is very nice as well. It's an expensive option. So some of the air from the engines channel out through these on either side and then there's a space as well through here which brings out all the hot air which also comes out from here as well so this car is designed to be as slippery as possible so another thing which produces downforce is the diffuser in the back it's got a massive diffuser which channels all the air it gives the car more downforce and i also like the formula one light as well it's a beautiful car comes in black I think if I was specking this, I'd prefer this in either that green over there or the yellow. That's just more ballsy. Oh, I tell you what, let's go check this one over here. So this one's got some diamond cut wheels. I've got to say, some diamond cut wheels are beautiful. They were these polished diamond cut wheels. They look beautiful. So Michelin, yeah, Pilot Sport. Yeah, Pilot Sport tires. Beautiful, beautiful. I do love the diamond cut wheels. Very nice. Anyways, back to this car. I think I might just drop this video tomorrow. 
So we shall look at the inside. Right. So with the Ferrari, everything works different. So that's for your engine bay there. Then this is to open your door. That's all your wing mirror functions there. Everything is pretty much self-explanatory. So if you wanna see the spec of this car, you press that, that'll open that. But I've done it before in the previous video, so I will not really bother. So then you've got these seats over here, which are lovely, they're comfortable. They've got massive side bolsters. I think these are, I tend to prefer the other ones. These are the sporty ones, which can be very uncomfortable for a long distance. I prefer the other ones, I forget what they're called. You know, but yeah, it is what it is. So everything is just geared towards race driving. Even the runners here and just the setup here is just designed for this being a race car. Got this lovely steering wheel here. You the Manitina switch there, your start button there, carbon fiber details. So you've got two TFT screens on either side. So the controls on here as well as there as well. Then you've got the digital. So you've got the analog rev counter there. Right, I think we should step in. Right, just about to start the car. So we're gonna press start. Like that. Mad. fantastic i've got to say in this space when you're not outside with the echo it just sounds so loud you can only just imagine this car in a tunnel south of france going through all the different passes by the alp mountains it will sound fantastic beautiful so we'll look at a few other details so with this window in the back when you have the roof up it does come down so you're able to get the loud sound permeating the cabin as well which is a nice touch wow really love this car do you know what it is i i thought i was going to buy the the normal one the coupe but i think i'm going to buy the convertible so this car is available guys as i say from ferrari newcastle so another thing which i like which i missed as well is the mats so you know, this car has been configured with the mats you know in that pattern there i do love the white though i think i'd prefer just to be all black especially on such a day Another thing which I forgot to say as well, you can also configure this car to have the JBL speaker system, which sounds quite loud. This one is loud as well, but I do prefer like, you know, when you have branded speakers. Other things, you can also adjust this, uh, the steering wheel as well. So it does come, it does come forward as well as go backwards. Just depends on how tall you are. You can also raise it up a little bit. I think I've seen Anthony Joshua was six foot six driving this car comfortably so if you're tall you will be able to fit in here compared to the lamborghini Urica, which i've driven before that has got a lot more i think that's more of a smaller car on the inside so you can tell i thought about people that are tall um what i was gonna say to round off this video it's a beautiful car i do like it obviously now we've got the ferrari f8 tributo which i think doesn't sound as good as this it sounds a lot better it sounds just, I don't know, just more fruity. Um, I think this concludes the video, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like this video. And yeah, 
If you want to buy a Ferrari, come to Ferrari Newcastle. They'll take care of you. Even not just buying, but also servicing as well as other repairs. These guys are professionals in the top notch. And I also like the white stitching as well. The leather is so soft. It feels like a Birkin bag. <laughs> you know, even the chairs. I'm not like a very small guy myself. And not the biggest guy. But I've got to say, I do fit in comfortably. I feel secure. You can put your phone in here. And yeah, I've covered this car before. So I will not dwell on a lot of details. But guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. A peace.